Hey folks, welcome back to ADOM. Turn the music up a little bit. You're just going to go into the settings a sec and... Yeah, I want the sound effects, but I don't want this crazy loud music. There we go. I do want the music. I like the music a lot, actually, but... Um, it's a little bit loud sometimes, some of the tracks. Okay, so in the last episode, we played through the intro dungeon. Are you going to attack me? No. We played through the intro dungeon and... You saw that there wasn't a whole... You know... It wasn't that threatening. <laughs> Things are going to change. <laughs> oh, right. We're hungry. So we need to eat our... Let's eat the large, large ration here. Now, we're going to go into the following cave. Oh, an outlaw band. Let's fight these guys. Now, I'm going to run into a... Try and get myself into a corner using coward. Okay. Let's start putting these guys down. Okay, I went into aggressive. Oh, I did take a hit there. Now I'm surrounded. I'm going to move back. Oh, took a big hit there. Killed one with a critical hit. Now we've got really good defense here. Oh, uh, 59 hit points. We're all right. Okay, there we go. A to a fly first aid. Okay, I didn't manage to do it. Okay, so we're going to bleed for a little while. Okay, I think the bleeding's ended. All right, they didn't drop much here. I don't think. Nope, that was it. So, anyway, that gave us a whole bunch of um, experience points. So that's worth something, I guess. I think we're going to go back to Tenryo... Uh, or t uh, Terinio, sorry. And we're going to grab some more food. Just in case we're unlucky and we don't find anything. So, uh, 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 you get what you pay for with the food, okay? <laughs> so if you take a, if you get a cheaper one, you tend to get not such a good deal. Yeah, look, there's the cheap ones and you can get the expensive ones as well. Let's grab, uh, damage something and pay for it. Going to grab a couple of large rations and then we, he goes to the door to block the, the exit because he's used to being robbed. And then what we want to do is hit the and key. Where are we? Uh, dollar, sorry. There we are. And we A for pay for all items. There we go. There's no haggling in this game like you get in uh, in the in Angband or Moria. Okay, let's go and do this dungeon. Now, I forget what's actually in this one. Okay, you've completed the quest to find the dungeon near the uh, village. So we get some experience points for that. Now, uh, press Q. So the village elder of Ten uh, Terinio asked you to find and relieve the village carpenter in the dungeon southeast of Terinio. Okay, so let's go and see if we can find this guy. And the dungeons are, like, uh, I think I mentioned it before, but the dungeons are randomly generated each time. So even though the quests will be the same, the dungeons themselves are proper roguelike style. They are always going to be different. Okay, bundle of arrows and a kobold corpse. Now, kobold corpses you do not want to eat. Uh, this is one of those games, I'd say, like NetHack. You kind of... It helps to... It's not frowned on to use spoilers because it's such a complex game and there's so much stuff in it that you kind of... Unless you're willing to play for, you know, just the same game for 10 years, you know, you really... You really do need to read guides, at least on, you know, different animal types. It doesn't necessarily... You know, how much you spoil it is up to you. It's just a kobold here. Oh, we found the short bonus scroll. Now, am I worth trying to read some of the scrolls? Oh! You're stunned by a sudden flash. In addition, you're blinded by that flash. We're going to move out to get out of here. All right, yeah, I thought that this would happen. So we did actually... There was there was stuff in here. Now, we have a, we've got a bow, by the way. Now, we're not going to be very good with that bow because we've got a minus three to hit. But it might be worth uh, trying it. And... No, that should be... Oops. Missile weapon, sorry. It was once to be the bow. And the missile should be the arrows. Okay, it's a minus two to hit bow. Uh-oh. 
Okay, so we're not gonna be we're not very good with the bow. But we can try it anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's just go in the melee for now. We never know when we might need to be able to hit stuff though. Okay, here's a downwards. Let's just go straight down. I'm gonna try and get oh. In, oh, sorry, this room seems to vibrate with life. Insects are crawling everywhere. Strange mushrooms cover the walls and moss is growing at the ceiling. Now, oh, that's a strong goblin. Okay, we broke that door. Got killed the goblin rock thrower. There's a kobold. Okay. Okay, we advance to level 7. Uh, let's go with uh, uh, athletics. Let's increase first age because that can be life. You know, that can save your life. And... Find weakness... Um, okay, we can't go any higher in literacy yet. Let's increase stealth. Ah, uh, what else? Go with climbing, just in case we do fall down a pit. It can be quite useful to get, get you out. The potion discovered. Some rocks. Don't think we need the rocks. Can't see much that way. Look, there's a skeleton there. Let's just have a look what he is. There's yeah, a skeleton. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. Eat one of these large rations. Okay, I'm going to follow this. I'm going to search this floor, I think. We've already found the stairs down if we need to go down. Kill these rats. A bat. Find a secret door, look. Okay, there's a bunch of creatures in here. And a leather armour. Okay. Scroll enabled Rambazamba. Okay, now, oh, got. Okay, we got a. Uh, this is an orc. Hmm. Let's increase our uh, aggressiveness. There we go, got him. That's just a crude knife. We don't want that. Let's go down the stairs. Now, this, this is a dangerous dungeon, a relatively dangerous dungeon. So, we can't just rely on might here. We may need to run away. We may need to. You know, take fights a little bit more steady. Oh, we've got a friendly goblin there, look. He's not friendly, he's just neutral. Take that, he says. Now, he might actually turn on us. There's another medium shield there. Okay, close that door. Okay, found a secret door there. Good. Oh, yeah, we got a blind attack. Let's move. Okay. Okay, we uh, we activated the trap. And what do we got here? A giant centipede. Now, you have to be careful because certain creatures can drain things like strength, you know, attributes. Now, if we can help it, we don't want... Oh, what have we got there? Is that a dwarf? A dwarf, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't want to lose. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have to restart a series this early on. Got a short spear and a metal cap. Uh, the metal cap we could probably wear. I just don't want to pick up anything. I don't want any cursed items. Eat that frog. Yuck, slimy. All right. I don't think I particularly enjoy eating random frogs either. Anyway, poor frogs. <laughs> and a shield as well. I'm just going to pick up all the stuff. Okay, here we go. And um, we found the downwards. That's one discovered. Okay, let's grab that and we'll zap it. See if we can f figure out what it does. Got a loaf of hurtling bread. I'm going to eat that now. It asked if I wanted to continue eating. Oh, right, we, could, we could go straight down. Look. Oh. Suddenly a female pixie appears out of nowhere. Let's zap it with a glass wand. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, we killed the pixie. Oh, she dropped a lot of gold. What are you? Black her thing. Okay, evil halflings. Hast thou seen the one ring? Chuckle. Okay. Oh yeah, I suppose that's supposed to be Gollum. Stupid creature. Let's see what else we can find down here. Okay, we've got a neutral goblin. Yeah, <laughs> so me the sats. Okay. A wear rat zombie. What a strange thing to have a zombie. A strange chassis for a zombie. Okay, that was a giant bat. Light potion. Okay, we just oh, we found a quarter staff and a turquoise potion. Now we can start eat. We can start drinking stuff to kind of identify it. Ah, uh, there we are. Ah. Well met, brother, Jarrod the Healer. Would you like to uh, learn or be healed? Let's learn. Before I will teach ye, ye need to pre prove that ye art able to exert mercy. Okay. Anyway, this guy might... Um, he's going to be able to heal me if I get in trouble. Let's just close him in there. I remember that guy now. So he is a permanent fixture of this dungeon. Oops. Who's this? Nice day, isn't it? Oh. He snuck up on me. Okay, down we go. Found some gauntlets. Ah, there we are. I knew there would be an exit somewhere. You sense a pious aura. Okay, that was in the... That was when we were talking to the healer. On a whip. Now. Yeah, we've uh, we've only... We've not even... We've only just taken over our weight capacity. I don't, I don't care about lumps of clay, I don't think. Okay, there's the downwards exit. I think I am going to search this room. Let's eat the bread. So, oh, we're satiated. Okay. So satiated means that you you don't get any penalties, but you know you don't want to eat anymore, essentially. A watery potion is probably water. Now, if we can get... Uh, you can bless water at altars, I think. And then you can use that to remove cursed items. I thought we got a lizard man there. Oh, I've... Okay. By the way... Ah, now, how... Hold on, I'm going to pause this a sec, folks. Just bear with me. Okay, yeah, so uh, there is... Um, if you eat the fire beetle corpse, you can get 50% chance of getting fire resistance. <laughs> I remember this. So I'm going to eat this. Yep, I'm going to continue to eat it. You suddenly feel very hot. Now, that doesn't tell you whether you've got the... Whether you've actually got the uh, bonus or not. 
but oh we got some gold pieces here uh but yeah we we basically got a 50 percent chance of picking up that resistance now in this game resistances are basically called intrinsics a female orc scorcher all right I was interested to see if she'd fire. I think Scorchers can fire at you with fire. Uh, I was hoping to see if I'd actually got that resistance. Ah, look what we found. A neutrally aligned altar. Now, I think we're neutral, aren't we? Now, there, there's a bunch of gods in the game. Yeah, deities. Istara. Okay, yeah, you can pr basically you can sacrifice creatures here, so you don't want, don't ever stand on it. By the way, because <laughs> enemies can sacrifice you in one hit and kill you. I think that's this one. It might, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But you can basically sacrifice stuff on the altar, like enemies, um, live enemies or uh, corpses, items, that kind of thing. And oh, ah, okay, we've got a wear rat here. Okay, we killed him. He was just surrounded by a bunch of rats. Found a short bow. Another rattling warrior. And a giant lizard. <laughs> you see, I like this game. The game, it, the monsters are kind of random, but there are, oh, oh crap. I didn't mean to kill him. He was a good guy, but we killed him anyway. But he wasn't a good guy. He was a, you know, a neutral character. There we go. All right, let's go down. Now, I don't know how many levels this dungeon has. I don't normally do this one. There's another, there is another quest, which is to kill a druid. And the druid is, the druid quest is quite hard. Well, hardish. The druid himself, the evil druid, is quite tough to kill. Some nasty abilities. Depending on what kind of character class you are, it can be kind of difficult to deal with. Uh, but I don't know much about this one. Ah! What we found. Swordsman. Oh, I got a critical hit look with the uh, arrow. There we go. Okay, clothes. I'm not bothered about them. Okay. We've got a female cut purse. Critical hit. Look at that. I mean, leveled up. Okay. Since we can actually use the bow, it might be worth getting some uh, archery, but I'm going to go for athletics first. Dodge. Find weakness. There we go. The muscles feel stronger. Yeah, so we actually got uh, we actually got a strength increase here, look. So the maximum we can go up to is 29. We've actually got 25 at the moment. So we're, we are leveling up quite a lot. And that's because we've got the athletics ability. Wooden shield. Okay, we've got a dead end here. Have I come down as far as we can go? I don't think so. Got to be careful here because the, there are kind of boss fights. Okay, we killed the barbarian from range. I don't want to eat a giant centipede, I don't think. What have we got over there? Studded leather armory. Eh? We've got chain mail. Um, so we're a bit more of a tanky kind of character rather than a diff than an evasion based character. Cobalt Chieftain. A, a tin wand, a bit of candy. Now eating a kobold, I'm pretty sure gives you a disease or poisoned. I forget which one it is now. Okay, there we go. Down we go. Climb downwards. There's a lizard man there, just hanging out. Oh, what we've we got here? Thick girdle. 
I'm going to try to ident figure out how to identify these items. Okay, what is this dude? You Irigs, the mad carpenter. Okay, so... I don't think there's much we can do with him. We're going to have to kill him. Hmm. Let's uh, increase our aggression to aggressive. Okay, suddenly some items seem to be falling to the ground. He's got a hatchet and a huge manual. Okay. Okay, so we've completed this dungeon. Uh, well, we've got to get out first. And that's not always a trivial thing. I've uh, got a rattling thief and a corpse fiend. Okay. I'm going to explore just this last level and then we're going to get out of here. And hopefully we don't get chased by any big packs of horrible monsters. I'm going to put myself back on normal. Oh no, we're on defensive. That's it, we want to be on normal. Oh, what do we got here? A harpy and a hobgoblin. Okay, we killed both of those. Goblin berserker. Now, um, certain character classes can use berserking really well, which is, if you remember, it's a tactic if you press F1. If you sit yourself in berserker, you, do, you, you basically drop all your defensive value, so you're going to get hit, but you get plus 14 to hit. And plus five to damage, which is crazy. So if you really want to, you can play Berserker if you want. Oh, what have we got here? Dark Sage. Let's see. He is probably somebody you want to go Berserk on, because you want to kill those guys fast. Where at? Yeah. See, we're actually facing quite a lot now. We're trying to get out of the dungeon. I don't know if you get experience points for secret doors, but... Ah. Okay, you're engulfed by roaring flames. You take care of some of your wounds. Okay, now let's just see if we did get... Um, a bonus there. No, I don't think so. Yeah, we didn't see if we've got uh, fire resistance. I didn't take much damage from that thing exploding on me, though. That fire vortex. They're really dangerous, by the way. Pick up that guy's arrows. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to kill him. He's in my way. <laughs> I don't like to kill the neutral stuff, but, you know. Right, W and up. Going to try to find our way out. W and up. Okay, we ate this Goblin Slave Master Corpse. What have we got there? A Quasit. It's like we're quite close to the exit here. All oh, right. mustn't relax because danger can come at any moment so can death okay I noticed myself getting a little bit hasty there and I've got to not do that okay we've got a whole bunch of items that we can take to the weapon shop and hopefully get identified okay, don't want to eat no kobolds Okay, we're nearly out of here. Very, very nice automation tools in Adon. I think.
Let's see what else we can find in here. Yeah, I think it's the kobolds poison you when you eat them, and the the giant rats can give you the plague. <laughs> One thing Adom did take from NetHack, I think, it was the idea that, you know, item, you know, interactions between items should have, int you know, like kind of logical or interesting effects, basically. Okay, I am going to go and grab. Oh, let's just evade those wolves. I'm going to go to Tenryo here and I'm going to grab some food. Okay. Okay, that was 81 gold pieces. Oh, we are burdened as well. I'm going to eat one of these. Okay, we've got too much stuff. Uh, I wonder if we can drop anything. I don't want your rubbish in my shop. Okay, so he's not going to allow us to... Yeah, we don't want to be burdened. I remember where is the safe place? I think it's <laughs> I think it's here on this line on this level here. You can drop stuff and you can basically nobody will pick it up. <laughs> um, let's see what's heavy. Climbing set's quite heavy. Ah, uh, let's drop the oh, there's those rations. That's the problem. I think. Drop the uh, the leather armor. Um, maybe I yeah. I think I've got too many. I've I've actually bought too much food, and that's the problem here. By the way, we should try on that ring. Um. Let's leave it on. See what it does. It might just be a. It might just be something to sell. Um, I don't really want to be burdened, but I. I think if. Let's just grab what we've got here, and we're just going to take it, and we'll take it to. Now you're going to use more food when you're burdened, by the way. Okay, let's go and sell this stuff, and see what we can get for it. All right. Yep. Okay. Uh. Actually, I'm not going to accept that. I think I'm going to wear that. Okay, so we get plus two protection for that. I'm going to drop the leather armor. Yep. Sell that. 42 for the studded leather. Yep. 16 for the shield. Drop. Now, these are just normal items by the looks of it. No. That's it. Equip those gauntlets. So those gives a minus one to hit, but we get plus one protection. So yeah, you got to you always got to balance out what you want. The girdle. Oh, eighty-five. That sounds like it's a good one. Girdle of carrying. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, that's that basically means we can carry more. Look, our carrying capacity's gone up to four thousand six hundred twenty-five stones. That's amazing. A really, really nice like, item that is. Okay, drop the short spear, the whips, hatchet. Okay, that's a magic hatchet. I think it might be cursed though. I don't think we want to sell that yet. We might want to take that back to Tenryo. No, thirty-eight for that short bow. 29 for that one. Okay. In that case, let's just try... Oh, we got a plus three short bow look. Nice. So this is why you want to try to identify these items. The shopkeepers basically will... You know, they'll be able to identify good stuff. Oh, there's a nice crossbow as well look. And it might just be the crossbow's expensive. Uh, okay, we can't equip that one. Maybe we can't use it. 
It's only 30, uh, 30 stone or whatever that is, 30s. Okay, what else do we want to drop? I think we okay we, we've got a right that is a 50 gold the kapow uh, we, I think we've already identified those two let's go for the one below 40 uh, H Ramba Zamba 128 okay so we've got some looks like we've got some quite expensive one I'm actually going to read these I think uh, we're going to do it in a place where it's not so dangerous to do so. Let's go back to ten uh, to the village. There we go, and we're going to go and finish this mission. So I think it's this way. There's the druid look. Now you can talk to him, but he won't give you a quest now. You relieved him, my thanks. Now you should try to find the source of all this chaos and destroy it. Okay, so... I believe that the origin of this great evil might lie in an ancient dungeon in the western central part of the mountains. Look out for a truly foreboding place. Yeah, that's where the main dungeon is. Now, there's other, there's other little quests you can do around here. Um, the, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the puppy quest. I think I'm probably strong enough to be able to do the puppy quest, but I, whether I'm going to... I think it's this one here... Have you seen my little doggy disappeared near a dark hole in the past? Me fears it got lost. Would you get it back for me? It's been gone for so long. I don't see why not. Let's try and do the puppy quest. It's going to be... It's not an easy quest, actually. It's actually quite a difficult quest. Uh, but we're going to... I think we should try it. Now, this is... Uh, the, the puppy quest is one that generally kills people. <laughs> here we go. So you've got to be careful here. There's some quite strong... There's some quite strong enemies in here. Okay, there's some clothes there we don't really want. I'm going to eat the goblin corpse. Now, you've got a bit of a time limit on this one, so I'm going to just go straight down. Bear in mind, there are some powerful creatures down here. There's things like giant ants, if I remember right, which they can come in swarms. The puppy cave is a good way to die, by the way, if you're a new player. <laughs> it's generally avoid best to avoid going down there. Ah. Oh. Do you want to drink from the pool? Yes. Nothing happens. The pool suddenly dries up. Okay. That's a risk, by the way, doing that. A large kobold. That black hair thing again. Thing. A vibrating ring and an iron ration. I've got to be careful of the... Oh, look at what we got here. Okay, we've got a chaos brother. Let's shoot at that guy. Got him. So yeah, we got magicians now to deal with, to contend with. I don't want ugly clothes, thank you. A cooking set. Okay, I killed a hippogriff with a critical hit. That was very, very nice. I'm just going to search this very quickly while we're here. Tastes like chicken eating the back corpse. Yeah. So, Adom's one of those games, I think when you get to a certain point, if you're not very experienced, it can be really helpful. Oh, what have we got here? Herbs. Okay. You need to use alchemy to be able to, uh, to, to know what's going on with those. Okay, I think we're just going to go straight down here. 
Okay, what do we got here? This is where I want to start being more careful because yeah, we got a wooden wand. Okay, there was a skeleton. Okay, a couple of neutral creatures in here. Oh, good lord. I think it's time for the end of the episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying Adom, and yeah, let me know what you think about the game in the comments. Are you enjoying this playthrough? I love this game. I think it's really, really good fun, and I hope you do too. Just let me know what you think anyway, because I'm always curious. I'm, you know, there's... I ask for comments for two reasons. One, it definitely helps the algorithm if I've got more engagement, but I am genuinely curious to hear what you think about these games. Like, do you like me playing stuff like this? Do you play it yourself? Would you be interested in, you know, after watching this, would you try it if you're not already you know, a roguelike fan. I'm curious to know what you think. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Take care.